Hello everyone, this is Somnambulous Gaming and we are playing Final Fantasy Origins. I've uh, jiggered with the sound settings a little bit, so if you like the way this one sounds, please feel free to comment. Uh, if you like the way it used to sound, which may not be all that much different, please feel free to comment. Basically what I'm saying is, uh, if you like or dislike things, you should say so. Of course, considering other than myself, I literally have zero views on every video. Uh, so that's not about to happen right now. But I am the pure artiste, and I am not here for the benefit of uh, garnering mass fame and uh, views and all of this business. And the, the words that I was going to say, and uh, yeah, whatever, but yeah. We're playing Final Fantasy Origins. We're in Final Fantasy 1. We are standing outside of the Marsh Cave with a much better setup for going through it. And we're going to go down to the bottom and we're going to open up a couple of chests that were locked and are now not so. And just watch as I hopefully wreck these guys pretty hard because otherwise I might be in trouble there's no boss at the end so I don't need to save anything I could have just casted a Dia and killed all of these guys instantly but I didn't because uh, I would rather mash a button uh, until everything is dead Yes, all of the gill. All of the gill. This is one of the advantages of coming back through here uh, afterwards to get all of these chests and whatnot is uh, being broke sucks and having money does not suck. Just anything you can do to just go chill your way through a dungeon without any risk of dying or getting torn up or losing all of your stuff, which isn't actually possible in this game, but hey man, whatever, it's just going to make it that little bit easier once you get to the next town. Hell, I'm even going to stop and fight these assholes. And everybody knows that's madness. Holy shit, Pat's tearing ass. Yes. Know my way around a wee bit, so I'm gonna go down here. Run for the bottom. In the last, I was getting pretty low on everything on my way down here, so I'm also going to check a couple of rooms that I didn't have much opportunity to last time. I don't think there's anything in there, but you gotta check. The gray oozes are the better ones. The green oozes are almost immune to physical attacks. These guys, you can just kill them like normal. Much happier with that dagger on Lars. At least he hits now. Really, accuracy is just crazy important in this game. Going without it is just terrible. Oh, dang, the Pisco Demon. Well, I can handle him now, kinda. The fire one isn't spectacular, but hey, what can you do? Yes, the deaths. Yeah, 
and Lars is getting his shit murdered. Oh wow, Cure One's not very useful. That's amazing. That's right, Pat. You take him out. I'm gonna go ahead and give Pat the MVP on that one. He and or she hit for nine whole damage that one time. It was pretty awesome. Paralysis. It's a pain in the ass. Yes. Could even kill the blood bones. It would be so nice to have that Warp 2 spell right now. You actually have to upgrade the White Wizard before you can even cast it. You have to manually slog your way out of every dungeon until you can upgrade your class. It's madness. And these guys are just douchebags. Bagged douche. Oh, come on. Lars is being abused this go around. They aren't horribly resistant to fire, so they died pretty easy there. I don't even have any potions left. Dang. Lars could just be in trouble. You need to get that big hit first instead of last. Good. Silver armlet. Excellent. That's much better. And he can actually wear that and be better. That's pretty nice. Lars will be the recipient of uh, some of the best armor in the game later on. That's gonna be a little bit. Man, Pat's basically a tank now. Come on, Jack, let's do it. Yes, got the kill. I don't remember if this was... No, I don't know what the hell was going on in that room. Oh, dang. Look at more Pisco Demons. God dang. Ah. Oh. Really nice if I had like bolt two or something. All 
right. Bring the noise. Yes. The noise has been brought. Oh, Jack's in trouble. Oh, we're good though. Might actually get knocked down on the way back out, but hey, what can you do? Oh, that was good. Excellent. Yeah, I'm gonna flee from this one. It's a ran out of offensive spells. Yes. Yeah, alright. Good to go. If I remember correctly, I thought I hadn't checked that row of rooms particularly well, but if I got that one way over in the corner, then I probably got everything. Apologies, I had to check that for a second, because I'm an insane person, and I'm like remembering things all out of order, my whole head is just uh, falling apart. So that means after we come here, that is after we leave here, we're gonna go meet some dwarves. They're cool guys. Dwarves are always the best guys. Except for when they're not. I can't think of any instances of that, but I'm sure it's possible. Come on, Rupert. Alright. You saved Rupert. For the moment. Anybody have any healing spells left? Still got one heal. Oh man, 15 health. Hey, it's better than nothing. We roll right back out of here. Oh, I actually still have a couple of cures. Which I'm gonna burn one now. But I'll use the other one on Rupert after the fight. Oh well. Pat got paralyzed, so Dia's not coming out. I'm not burning a Dia on three guys. Particularly when two of them are some of the weakest enemies in the game. Zombies are pitiful. Well, not getting killed by Pat pitiful, but they're still pretty pitiful. You know, I said it and I'm sticking to it. Good. Fight. Blood bones can mess a guy up, but not easily. It doesn't do any dang status effects. The status effects are the real danger. Oh shit, he actually survived a hit. That's just madness. Oh, two hits. One was kind of pitiful, but still, it's something. Good gill out of that, though. Ah. 
Green slimes are fuckers. Fuckers, I say. Exit. I don't even bring a tent over here. Still got that one cottage, but I'm not wasting a cottage on the marsh cave. I will save, though. Wait. Wait, in this one, yeah, you need the tent to save. Yeah, I've been uh, doing my preliminary playthrough of Final Fantasy II to prepare for doing that one after this, and you can save on the map in that one. Also, that game is fucking madness. Everything is crazy. Every individual aspect of the things that are happening on the screen is just like, Jesus Christ, what's going on? So, uh, look forward to that, maybe? Or don't look forward to it? Whichever way you interpret that. Oh, Pat smashed. That's depressing. When you're a monster and Pat kills you, you just need to go back to the monster in the unemployment line. Just figure out what you're doing with your life. Oh, excellent. Ogre chieftains are pretty tough, and I can one-shot them sometimes when I roll pretty well. Man, am I just covered in money right now. It's not gonna be enough, though. It's never enough. I have a date with the magic shops. Bolt two. That would have been useful earlier, but hey, having a couple different AOE uh, damage options is pretty nice. RIP, RIP. May Link rest in peace. The classic Legend of Zelda reference. Of course, Link is dead in this, so I don't know how you want to take that. Cure 2 will be helpful. Yeah, Dia 2 as well. Why not? I have the money to burn. Now the next level of spells cost 4,000 goddamn gil each. I'm not messing around with that right now. Dance of Wakefulness. It's very important. When you wake up, you have to do a little dance. You do not, however, have to make a little love, though. That's, uh, optional. It is time to bid a tearful goodbye to Elfland. We'll be back. Probably, maybe, I don't know. Actually, we're probably gonna go right back in there and buy a couple more of those golden needles. I forgot about that, and that's very important. We need at least two more. Just in case. an engine of wolf murder.
I am a prophet. The vision will come to me eventually. I shall wait in meditation until then. To be honest, I don't know if that ever changes. Like, they're waiting for something, and... I totally straight went through the end of the game and hit the credits before I even saw them say anything else. After a while, I kind of stopped checking, but, you know, stuff happens. Gold needles are important, because stone is essentially death, and it doesn't go away until you literally use a gold needle. Even worse than that, the next major dungeon, you get down towards the end, and then you start finding enemies that use stone. They don't throw it up at the start, where you can be like, Oh crap, stone, I better go get some gold needles. No, you're down at the bottom, and you're just like, Oh god, how do I get out of this place? And, and then they stone two of your guys. And you're just standing there like, Oh no. Oh, this is bad. And, uh, you hate life. That's what happens. Hating life may in fact be optional, but, uh, you know, it's important sometimes. Shark attack. Wow. That's my highest level. Alright, guys. We are going for dwarf area. Why, that there looks like a cave. And this there looks like dwarves. Rally Ho. Which they changed from Lally Ho for some reason. I mean, whatever. Have you spoken with Smith the Smith? But you know, that's what happens when they retranslate all these weird Japanese games. Whatever version of the LR split it's on, it just changes it to the other one. No matter what the, the reasoning is, it's just whichever one it is, you gotta do the other one. And when they retranslate it after that, they switch it back. It's it's like they're playing tic-tac-toe or something. Whoever hits the last one wins. And this asshole. You see this dwarf here. This dwarf here, he's saying, I'm looking for the levy stone. You see the levy stone can make anything float in the air. What happens is, and now this is a big spoiler, but since he's talking about this levy stone, later in the game, you find a levy stone. It's crazy, but you know, uh, Chekhov's gun or some shit like that. But when you find the levy stone, you go, I remember in that dwarf cave, there was a fine gentleman saying he was looking for a levy stone. And then you you take your canoe all the way back out to where your ship is, and then you sail your ship halfway across the world, fighting sharks and Sahagans, and you walk over down to this cave, and you walk up to him, and you press the button to speak to him. And he says, I'm looking for the levy stone. You see, the levy stone can make anything float in the air. And then you, you stand there, and you're like, okay, did I do something wrong? And you speak to him again, and he says, I'm looking for the levy stone. You see, the levy stone can make anything float in the air. And then you stop, and you're like, okay. And you open your inventory, and you go to the key items, and you use the levy stone to see if maybe you have to show it to him. And it doesn't do anything. And... You're just standing here in a cave halfway across the world from where you need to be because this guy mentioned a thing and then you don't even actually give it to him 
you have to go to a totally different place that's totally undocumented. Well, as far as I know, I mean, maybe somebody in the corner of some town is just like, hey, go to this desert, and then there's a thing there. It's not visible on the map. There's nothing going on. It's just that's where you go, just not here. Huh? This noise? Oh, Grandpa Nellick said he's rock busting again. Basically, what I'm getting at is screw this guy. Screw this guy. Screw this guy. Screw this guy. Also, screw this guy. Rally ho! An armlet can work as an armor. It protects you. Which is pretty much where the whole uh, using bangles and shit from like Final Fantasy VII and whatnot came from. Because they, they had it as essentially braces of armor from D&D in this game. Alright. The earth has begun to rot. From the west it comes. Huh? This noise? Oh yeah, that guy. How can I forge a sword worthy of leaving its name in history? Perhaps that legendary metal adamantite can. See now, this guy is looking for adamantite, and you find adamantite, and then you give him adamantite. That's how it works. This is what game design is, where you say a thing, and then it happens, and then you follow through with it. You don't just have a guy who's just like, derp, and then nothing ever happens. That made me very angry. Uh, maybe it's it's kind of obvious that that made me very angry, but you know, uh, you gotta rant sometimes, or at least I do. Maybe you don't, but I don't know. Maybe you're into Vegemite. Psh! Ah, the nitro powder. Thanks a ton, youngsters. Now we can build a canal. There we go. There. Now we can blast this rock to smithereens. Now move it. That wall will explode, so we'd better get out of here. Thanks for the warning. It's always a good sign. I am totally serious about this. When you find some dwarves and then you give them explosives, the first thing that happens is they go, awesome, and then they set it somewhere. And they're like, it's blowing up, run! And then you do. Those are the best dwarves. And here we have one of the uh, the additions to the PS1 version. They actually have little cutscenes that do this sometimes. That aren't worth much, but hey, it's something. Yeah, I think I bet he just leveled up. That's how you level up when you're a dwarf. You blow shit up. Oh, the Great Sea is calling me. He's got to go blow stuff up somewhere else now. All right. Well, that's pretty much what we got going on here. Uh, I think there might be a chest or something over here. We shall see. Oh, dang, there's several. Worm killer. That's a, a sword that's not very useful, but does extra damage against dragons. Yeah. Man, it's a good thing I checked over here. Helmet. Not very useful. Mithril mail. 575 gil. A cottage. Those are very expensive, so that's a good thing. Grand helm. And a tent. Excellent. Grand Helm. I think Jack can wear this mail. Excellent. That's very nice. Oh! He can use the Worm Killer. That's nice. That's well, even got pretty good accuracy. Well, that'll be an improvement. You gotta check this stuff you find, because sometimes you find something that's like gauntlets. You open up the inventory and it's like, this has the power to cast Bolt 2, and you can just spam Bolt 2 every turn for free. Alright. I think we're done here.
and roll up back to the ship, and now we have this little canal to roll through. Which isn't actually canal, it's just a, a gap, but I guess somebody forgot to inform uh, Squaresoft that uh, canals are actually a thing that you build that contains construction and whatnot. But hey, it doesn't really matter too much. Oh, that's very nice. It gets the multiple hits and the higher damage. Ooh. Oh yeah. There's this little lime lake here. That's what it is, it's a lime. I decided this at some point. I can tell you when exactly. Shape though. Yeah. Alright, now we can access a whole other side of the map. And this is our next town. And as you can see, it is a shithole. Bless the crystals. Yeah. Oh dear. Melmond is in ruins now. If it wasn't for that blasted vampire. If the earth crystal regains its glow, I'm sure the earth will regain its vitality. Yeah, maybe. Or maybe it won't. Hi, handsome. Why don't you stop by my pop's shop? It's some good advertising. Bless the crystals. I'm a farmer and I'm real proud of it. Alright. Here's a random dwarf. I'm Jim the Dwarf. I've come to investigate the cause of the Earth's decay. Good job. I'm not sure if this is an old man or a dwarf. An old man named Sada lives in a cave on the southern edge of the land. He's very wise and he may have the answers you need. Good times. They say that the ancients used some kind of rock to launch their ships into the air. Oh man. Long ago, an advanced civilization flourished in the northern lands. Now it's fallen into ruins. Alright, there are a couple extra guys to talk to up here. The titan in the cave eats rocks. Precious gems are his favorite. He can eat them forever. To the south of this town is a peninsula called Devil's Tail. You'll find the Terra Cavern there. The closer you went to that cave, plants grew healthier and yielded more. That seems like ages past. Too bad about that. The earth is decaying. The vampire dwelling in the Terra Cavern must be behind it. He's blocking the flow of the earth's power. Please banish him for good. See, that's what happens when heavily armed people come into your town. You start going, You gotta kill this guy, man! You gotta do it! This is crazy! And they got nothing much going on in this place. They actually don't have a, a church to resurrect people or an item shop. Which is one of the reasons it was so important to get those golden needles back when we could. Because this place kind of sucks balls. They might have some armor. I don't remember. They do. 45,000 GP, but no. Could use a silver armlet, but not at the moment. Steel gloves, sure. Maybe I can sell enough to get another one of those silver armlets. Three mithril knights. Knives. Knives. Three mithril, the ability to speak English. Nope, not quite. 
Not unless they start selling cottages. I can almost make it if I sell this copper armlet, but I don't think it's enough. Well, that won't take long, though. Alright friends, that's that for this video. This has been the Somnambules Gaming and we are playing Final Fantasy Origins. And uh, thank you for watching. Please feel free to watch next time where we're going to go find the Terra Cave. It's going to be terrible. Oh yeah, it's, it's a nasty place. Alright, well, see you guys later.